We're going to learn Spanish with the Netflix series La Casa de Papel. Vamos al lío. And today we're going to watch one of the latest episodes to see how many new words and phrases we can learn. Let's go. First up is the word esquirla. No nada. Una esquirla suelta. Una esquirla is a shard, so when she says una esquirla suelta, it means a loose shard. So a loose shard from something like an explosion hit. Up next is chapa. Dame tu chapa. In this case, chapa means badge. So when he tells her, dame tu chapa, he's saying, give me your badge. Then we have the word derrape. And derrape means skid. So this is the sound the car makes when it turns really fast and the tires kind of give out and it slides across the ground and makes that noise. Then is the word petrolífera. Robar la bomba de extracción de una plataforma petrolífera. Petrolífera means oil bearing. So una plataforma petrolífera is an oil bearing platform or a platform that has oil in it in some way. Then is the word toscas. Con estas manos tan toscas. Toscas means coarse or rough. So when Berlin says con estas manos tan toscas, he's saying with these rough hands. Then is the word cormoranes. Cuéltalo si no quieres volar como los cormoranes. This isn't a crazy one, it's not a common word. It means cormorant, I think that's how you say it. And this is just a type of bird. So when he says, suéltalo si no quieres volar como los cormoranes, he's saying let him go if you don't want to fly like the cormorants, those types of birds. So he's just threatening him, essentially. Then is molino. Las caderas de tu mujer deben estar gastadas como la rueda de un molino. Molino means grinder or mill. So when he says deben estar gastadas como la rueda de un molino, he's saying that they must be worn out like the wheel of a mill because mills work all day and the parts get worn out. Then we've got two words. We've got aridos and we've got potito. Extrae los áridos del fondo marino como si fueran un potito. Aridos means sort of dry goods and dry materials like sand and gravel. And un potito is a jar of baby food. So he says the machine can extrae los aridos del fondo marino como si fueran un potito. By this, he means the machine can extract the arids in the bottom of the ocean as if they were a jar of baby food. So something super easy to do for it. Then we've got el turrón. Nos comemos el turrón en casa! Un turrón is a nougat, which is those candy bars that have almonds and honey and other sweets in them. So when he says, nos comemos el turrón en casa, he's saying we'll eat the nougat at home, as in, we'll chill and relax when we get home. For now, let's get to work. Next is gorjeo. This word means the chirping or twittering sound that usually birds make, but sometimes it's also used for babies when they make those quick little sounds. Then is amordazada. Amordazada means gagged. So the professor says, Vas a pasar lo que queda del atraco, aislada, atada y amordazada. That means you're going to spend what remains of the bank robbery, isolated, tied up, and gagged. Then is embistar. Embestir. Embestir. Marcella, o te apartas o te enlisto. No me aparto. Embistar means to ram. So when she says, o te apartas o te envisto, she's saying, or you get out of the way, or I'm gonna ram you. as not hit you really hard. Continue with histriónica. So, a uh, risa histriónica is a laugh that's super dramatic, theatrical, kind of out there. Then is espoletas. Oliveira activó las espoletas de sus granadas. Espoletas means the fuses. So, activó las espoletas de sus granadas means activated the fuses of her grenades. Next is desempate. Jugamos al desempate. Disparo o no disparo. El desempate is the tiebreaker. So when she says, jugamos al desempate, she's saying, should we play the tiebreaker round or match? Next is sorberse. Porque uno no puede malgastar la vida de ser no estar con alguien. Found out that sorberse means, it's actually kind of gross, it means like to suck up snot. So when it says, ríe y se sorbe, it means she laughs and then does that motion. <laughs> then we've got escoltar. 
Escoltar means to escort. So, escoltenlo y llévenlo con los herridos means escort him and take him to the injured people. There is capataz. Ahí viene capataz. And capataz means foreman. Next is impeller. Well, seemingly, it's about impelling capacity of the pump. The axe is sealed and bearing. Impeller means to drive, to propel, to add force into, essentially. So when he talks about the impelling capacity of the pump, he's talking about the ability of the pump to put pressure and make movement and drive things. Next, we've got radio y cubito. Doble fractura abierta de radio y cubito. Radio y cubito means radius and ulna. They're the two bones in your forearm. So, doble fractura abierta, radio y cubito, means double open fracture, radius and ulna. Then is desgarro. Con posible desgarro, no muy grande. A desgarro is a tear. So, con un posible desgarro, no muy grande, means with a possible tear, not very large. Next is aniquilamiento. Ahora si salimos ahí con nuestro relato del aniquilamiento de la Navidad, no va a valer ni para tomar por culo. Un aniquilamiento is an annihilation. So, el relato del aniquilamiento de la Navidad means the tale of the Christmas annihilation or the Christmas massacre. Next is guarida. Estaba ahí, en su guarida. Guarida means den or lair or hideout, kind of your space that's hidden away. So, estaba ahí en su guarida means he was there in your lair, as in you had him trapped. Next is lacito. Ahora mismo podría ponerle un lacito y entregártelo. Un lazo is a bow, so un lacito is like a little bow. So, ahora mismo podría ponerle un lacito y entregártelo. That means, right now I can put a little bow on him and hand him over to you. We've got two. There's retractarse and calumnias. Te retractas de todas las calumnias vertidas sobre mi persona. Retractarse is to take back, and calumnias are slanders, bad things and accusations people make about you. So, te retractas de todas las calumnias vertidas sobre mi persona means you take back all the slanders that you poured on me, that you made and accused me of. Okay, last one is imputarse. ¿En serio crees que me voy a imputar para que me juzguen y me encierren solo para que ese señor no se salga con la suya? Imputarse means to accuse yourself. So, ¿en serio crees que me voy a imputar para que me juzguen y me encierren? Means, do you seriously think I'm going to accuse myself so that they judge me and lock me away? I hope you had fun learning some quick Spanish phrases with La Casa de Papel. Check out the Netflix series on my channel to learn some more quick Spanish from other hit shows. And I'll catch you next time. Sending good vibes and energy to you all. And hasta la próxima.